What is up, YouTube? It's me, Emma Jane. It's, yeah, a few days uh, since yesterday I just uploaded a video. I'm sorry if I couldn't upload any more of the videos of the concert. The, my phone died during the process. At the same time, as always, my mum interrupts me by calling me through my phone, and my phone was dying, and thanks to her, the phone died out. So, yeah, I don't have footage of or pictures of me in case spazzing or me with the K-Box with K-Box or me with Loco which is the K-Pop dance from London so yeah so <laughs> oops <laughs> so today 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 what, what I'm going to do just like last year it's just going to be a little bit more different no it's just like December that there was no music but just say the names that I think they are my opinion. So you got to remember this video is only my opinion. So if you have your own top ten K-pop songs of from January to June, June this year, not ten years late, ten years before, but now this year there has been a really impact. I mean, there was a lot of good songs this year that has been oh awesome. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start us always from number 10 so my number 10 from my list in my opinion is Mad Town New, New World as we all know Mad Town is the rookie group from Jane Toon Camp where M Black is currently in uh, obviously Lee Jun M Black I mean yeah even though whether we're five or three the same group, the same company, they're there. So, yes, so there's a lot of history. There's one of them that is, there's two guys that were in Pro C, if you remember, they, was, they debuted like 2013, like in October, December, around that time. And then last year, in October, they became, they those two started, were part of a project. That was like a subunit, but now they're in a proper group, which is more well, seven guys. Yes, they're freaking amazing. I mean, Yolo is what there was a debut song. It was like it was actually a pretty good song. Uh, my bias is Moose, Muse, Muse is Moose. Oh Jesus. <sighs> okay, <laughs> he's my bias in that group. Yes, he's the oldest, but it's not because he's older. He's just he's too much but anyways back to the group uh the song the second song that they came up with this year was really good i really like the choreo is is a little bit more better than yolo in my opinion i think uh, it's out it has more rhythm rhythm it was really catchy it's R obviously r&b hip-hop but it kind of feel like you're going back to the early 2000s in that time more or less it's just probably it's just me but that's how I felt and it was it's a good feeling. I'm not gonna say it's a bad feeling, it's a good feeling, so yes. So there's nothing to say. I know this group is we have to win to see. We we never know if they're gonna do another comeback, so this year, so probably December and October when the date they were debuted. Something like that. It's a coincidence they they debut on like, October, the same time when M Black debuted on in October as well. So yeah, okay, so moving on. <laughs> moving on. Uh top nine. My ninth spot is two PM My House. Jesus, this song. It was to be honest, when I was making the list, when I was writing down the list, it to be honest, is not as easy as it looks to try narrow it down which should come first and stuff because there was so many good songs this year and it's just hard to pick out it's so hard to pick out who could be the number one who could be number two it's not easy so i had to be fair and to stay yeah just stay as it is so number nine is 2 p.m uh the song was so good thank you jesus it was freaking good I love this song so much. I mean, this song has become my new obsession now. Like, 
it says it all. Like seriously, it just says it all. It's two p.m. and when two p.m. come come comes with the sexiness and this time was not just the sexiness they brought in animals in the video which I'm just weak to animals I mean I, I just like so much animals dogs cats rabbits and wolves and you, you get the deal so yes and the fact it was a mixture of fairy tale stories in one in one music video it was genius of course it has the centrals one girl. Why I don't no, no, don't get me started with me. Why can't they have six girls and the different representations that makes it more easier to understand? But still, but even though it was one girl, it was obvious that she represents this girl represents of all the fairy tale stories like Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Little, Little Red Riding Hood, Jasmine. Uh, um, Who did Bingy represent again? Cinderella and there's some other fairy tale I forgot. But yes, you get the deal. It was a really good concept. It was a really good song. It was sexy. It was magical. Um, yeah, you get the deal. So okay, let's move on. It's just I'm just doing this quick before anything else happens. Uh, number number eight is Kara Cupid. That song is my biggest obsession. Why? Young G's rapping was everything. It was glorious. I never expected her to rap. I did not see that coming. I wanted to hear her voice. I got confused with one of the members with her because they look alike, especially one of the members had the same haircut that Young G had last year, like, you know, the fringe and the kind of hairstyle that was really popular that made Yonji popular and those two look alike but they look like twins but anyways with that said I really love this comeback I think this is a lot better than Mamma Mia I like Mamma Mia don't get me wrong but this is like it escalated from normal and go it just it was really good it was so good uh yeah and it was pretty sexy it wasn't too sexy, it wasn't too cutesy. It was really good. I mean, I'm so proud of seeing Yonji's rap. It's just, it just warms up my heart. And I understand why a lot of people have shipped her with Jackson. Rapping. They're rapping. They're rappers. You ship two rappers. This, this, the world is... <laughs> so, yeah, you get the point. You You get what I mean. So... Yeah, I like the song actually. I really do. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no negative about it. It's just, I just like the song so much. I have it on my phone. It's just, I constantly play it every time. It's like, oh, when I'm bored of one song, I just find Kara. I'm like, look, play, play, play. So okay, let's move on. Number seven is Girls Generation. Catch me if you can. This song was this, this song. The song itself obviously is originally meant to be for the J-pop industry on the other side of Korea, Japan. That was meant for J-pop, but still, like a lot of people said, I even witnessed it myself by listening a lot of K-pop, a lot of um, Japanese songs from Girls' Generation that is so much better than the Korean. I mean, a lot of people have said it, I even say myself. I mean, I heard it, it's like 10 times better than the Korean. I don't know why, what it, what it is that the Japanese does. I mean, I think it's that the, how the Japanese lay it out with music. It's obviously Japan will kind of make it, the songs really successful over there. So, yeah. So, with that, I really like this version of, oh yeah, there was a Korean version. So, they did a Korean and obviously I'm probably, I can imagine they had to do the Japanese version for the song and up uh, promote it over there in um, in Japan and it's really popular. I mean the song was really good, although it was a bit weird seeing, not seeing Jessica there because we're, I'm so used to seeing Jessica on in every single MV that I have seen from Girls' Generation from the, from the very beginning to Mr. Mr. 
yeah, we've just got used to it. And then all of a sudden, you catch me if you can. You just feel weird because Jessica's not there anymore. So it's kind of it feels weird. I'm I'm still not used to it yet. So, but with that said, I know girls' generation girls' generation will still still stick together, even if they um if they finish their contract with SM and they move on to a next contract music business, they probably might say, why don't we bring Jessica back? I mean, that's how I think, that's how it works. I mean, that's how Robbie Williams and take that, that's how they did it. I mean, they brought back Robbie's, Robbie Williams at one point. I mean, yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, uh, so yeah, I really liked the song. It was really good. The choreo was on point. The outfits was on point. I was so glad it wasn't in the box for the first time ever from Girls' Generation. It was in a fresh air, although it's in one place, but still, it was it wasn't in one closed room, like in the box. It was fresh air, where the sun is shining. Where it starts it starts to twinkle during night time, so that's about it. I can say, okay, moving on, number six, I was a bit uh, having a war war time with with listing music. It's not easy as it looks. It's shiny, so six sixth place is shiny um view slash odd eye, as you can t tell. Odd Eye is one of my favourite songs, sorry, one of my favourite songs in the, um, in the Shiny's new album. I really love it so much. And when I did the live um, performance where you see Key wearing an eye patch, I was slayed. They actually, all of them, I hate all of them now, they actually ruined my bias list. Because I think my, my, I can't say I think, my bias is Jung Hyun. Hi. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're my bias, yes. Um, Jung Hyun is my bias in this group, and seriously, he slayed with that eye patch and that contact. That hair, everything about that man just literally destroyed my list. And then, second place, who destroyed me so 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 much that I can't even lift up my own eyes is is, is tame in. He needs to stop. Th this child needs to stop. He doesn't know when to stop. But no, the hip thrusting. He 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 has to do it for some reason. That he ha he had just a oh let me put something extra hip thrusting. Yes, thank you tame in tame man. I forgot he's tame man. He's not, he's still tame in, but he's he's tame man because he's no longer a child. He's no longer that fifteen year old that debuted a few years ago. Now he's some grown ass man. Like seriously, um, yeah. Um, then the third place who nearly killed my my epiphany, and I nearly had an epiphany of just having a heart attack. Was Minho? Minho's face, Minho's expression was too much. And then obviously there's two videos of the, of the live performance. The second one was he had no shirt, and even though I literally thought he was going to woof, rip off his jacket off for a sec split second, I was my heart couldn't breathe. My my breath was like slowing down. Yeah, I was having having a hard time to react. It was in shock, thanks to Minho. Yes, dibba dibba dibs. My name is Minho. Let me take off my shirt off and show you my abs. No, no. And then you have no, Jung Hyun. Oh God. Hmm. Jung Hyun. Oh, he stressed me. But <laughs> he stressed me so much. He 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 takes my energy away for some reason. Just 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 the fun of it. Like seriously. And he's not biased. So that's okay. He can do it. He can do it whenever he wants to. <laughs> As long as not takes, he does, as long as he doesn't take away a life, that's fine. Uh, then you have on you. Excuse me. Why do people? Hello. Hola. Bien, bien.
Pero muy bien aquí en casa. Pues eso es poco a poco. Si es que estamos sacando cosas, mirando qué sirve, qué no sirve. Sí, más o menos. Sí. No, mi mamá salió. Se fue a... Sí. Sí, ya siempre lleva. Vale, aquí te la paso. Espera. Sorry, you guys. Um, pretty cool. Cero siete ocho, treinta y ocho, noventa y uno, noventa y cuatro, cuarenta y seis. Empecé a llamar al Paul Móvil. Bueno, Stefa. Igualmente, chao. Sorry about that, guys. I had an unexpected phone call. As always, I always get interrupted for the wrong reasons. When I'm filming, when I'm in concert, when I'm doing, whatever I'm doing, I always get interrupted for no reason. But, anyways, that, this was an exception. So sorry about that. Woo! Okay, so. Oh, so yes, about Shiny. So, oh, apart from Odd Eye, View is also one of my favorite songs. Second place song I really like. I mean, I reacted to the. I actually did a review. That was my first review. I decided to say, you know what? No more reactions because every time I do reactions, this camera just goes off. It goes loony. I mean, I use the YouTube recording instead of the normal cameras that most people most people use, mainly because I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Uh, I'm really I don't have a proper computer. This is just a Chromebook, and when it comes to Chromebooks, yikes! I don't know how to use them as much. I, I'm not very genius as editing and um, that kind of stuff. So the way you see, the way I do things. I get phone calls randomly, very out of the blue, you'll get used to it. So, yes. So, that was my first review on Odai of this year. I decided to not to do any more reactions for that reason. And at the same time, if I use someone else's computer, they want to use that. So, I feel a bit uncomfortable doing something like reactions. So, i just rather do review instead. So, okay, so with that said, I really liked the MV, the MV was really good, and during my review on View, review on View, Chinese View, um, I did mention it kind of had that, nowadays British music, we will be hear like kind of house music, kind of clubbing music, that kind of, kind of, what we usually hear in the UK, is like, Nowadays music, basically. It sounds really that kind of sound. And that, yeah, it was really good. It was it was a good sound. It's not the typical SM. It's like, yeah, just do this song. But I'm glad it, they didn't do that. I'm glad they have 
a different sound to it. They changed it up. They upgrade the you know the glorious shiny to to the next level. Go go. Vroom. So yeah. So moving on to the next spot. On number five is my base. Boys Republic, the real one. That song, the song, the song is so good. If you, I, I'm yet again, I have to say this again. For those who don't know about Boys Republic, guys, they have a YouTube, official YouTube channel. You should check them out. I mean, these guys are worth checking out. I mean, they deserve so much recognition. It's ridiculous that I feel like like an old person, yeah, do you know about this group? And people will say, uh, I don't know about this song. Because they're, it's old school, you won't know. But this is not even old school. That's how weird it is. It's just they are just an underrated group. And I was really glad. These guys were amazing on concert, on stage. <gasps> okay, don't even mention my biases because I don't know if I, you can, I can show you. Oh my god, you can see him. This is my bias. This is this this guy here. Yes, he looks like if for those who see this picture right now, you will think this is Lee June who was from Emberk or J Hope from BTS. He has a mixture of those two because he really looks a bit of the both of them. He's really handsome. Oh my gosh. He has that voice of an angel. <laughs> He smiles. Okay, it's too much. Okay, I should stop. I should stop. I should stop. I should stop babbling like this. Ugh. Yeah. Boys Republic is one of them groups that literally would destroy you. I mean, not any destroyment. I mean, in any destroying way. Like, putting graffitis and all that shit. No, no, no. They'll destroy you emotionally. Like, this is too much. You have, you have all these fine men. All of them are so fine. They're so fine. They're so good looking. On stage. On the MVs. They, they, they can dance. They can rap. They can sing. I mean. Woo. The rappers. Oh Jesus. Yeah. 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 My other biases is rapper. So he's um. Sunjun. He nearly killed me. I nearly felt my heart was about to stop. And I was my head, my mind was saying he needs to stop. Minsu needs to stop. All of them. All of them. All of them. Yes. All, all they were all sweating and the hair was a little bit wet. Especially one of them was really wet. I mean, it was messy. I was like, <gasps> oh my god. Okay, it was too much, but it was so good. Thank God it wasn't so far, far away. So I took the train, got there on time. I knew what it was, but I kind of forgot what it was. But got there, got to the concert, met some good peeps over there, like Kate Spazin, yes, they were there too. The, the, I saw Sabrina was about to die because they're too much. They're literally too much. They're all too much. You, 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 you get the point. For a split second, I thought Sanjin was going to rip his shirt. Like, not halfway, but the whole way down. Uh, he did it so slowly, like, in a sexy way. It's just... No! Why would you do that? Oh! Okay, I should stop. I should really stop right now. Because... If, for those... That, yeah. For those who don't know, just check them out. And you, you're more likely to have a bias. Very quickly. In no time. And for those who be hardcore fans of... Of Boys Republic, like me who's been with them for two freaking years, from the day they debuted until now. They're still, they're still, yeah, they're still there. But anyways, um, the, the real one was so freaking good. It took me back in time. They took me back in time to the 90s, because they had that 90s feels of hip-hop-ish. That kind of really old-school hip-hop. That oh, it was so good. It was so good. Oh, I, I feel so happy. And I, do you know what? They they really appreciate like old school music. They really do. I mean, it's it's weird to hear to hear that Minsu, um, the main dancer slash rapper, he can sing as well. 
really likes rock music. I was really surprised that he actually likes Marilyn Manson. But, okay, we're moving on. I mean, for those who don't know, yet again, check them out. Check those men out because those guys are grown ass men. Especially in one June. Especially this beautiful, especially this beautiful man. This beauty. Trust me. If you see him smile, he just literally kill you. I mean, that smile is a killer. It's just, uh, Christ. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, moving on. Um, into back to my senses. No, it's not even back to my senses. It's just fourth place is Jay Park. And these two songs, because I can't choose, I can't say just one song because he actually did two MVs in the same month, really, in the same, yeah, nearly, nearly the same day, which is Mome and Sex Trip. Those two videos slash songs is just too much. It's so good. It's too much. It's just so good because it's Jay Park. And because Jay Park has to do the most unnecessary thing is to be shirtless and yeah. And his smile is just too much but too uh, I don't know what to do myself anymore. I mean I reacted to the MVs, I was like, dude, this is too much. I really liked Mommy. Mommy's like my jam. Sex trip when you it just makes you oh it makes you think dirty. Because of J Park's voice. It does ah! Oh my god <laughs> Okay, Mome is kinda in a nice way of of when you want to twerk. I can't twerk, to be honest. But I do try, but I don't do it on camera. That will never happen. It might It will never happen. It will never will. It will I won't do it. I will never will ever. Like, if someone pay me to try see me twerk, it will just it will be a never, never ever, a never ever ever. Yeah. So yeah, in the envy, I thought it's gonna be either a white girl or an Asian girl in the MV but I was surprised it wasn't even white it wasn't even Asian it was freaking mixed race who is mixed with black I was like and she was really pretty I was really jealous it's like dude the next one he's gonna pick out some Latin American I can see that coming like in no time J Park said okay we really had the black women I said like, why don't we have more black black women in the MV to make him more sexier he'll do it he will literally say, like, audition, all of you, all of you <laughs> around the world. And then after the next comebacks, he was like, Latin American. He, he, he's, 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 he's multicultural. He, he's a multicultural guy. You know he is. You know he is. Anyways. <sighs> I'm sweating. Jesus. It's just thinking about it twice. It's J Park. This, this fourth place is J Park, and J Park is literally makes you sweat because he's too much and he doesn't know when to stop. And thank God he's not like some seventeen-year-old idol or singer. He's freaking like twenty-eight, like twenty-eight, twenty-nine. He's a grown man. He's a grown man. I mean. Woo! He's too sexy. He's just too sexy. He's just... Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, okay, let's move on. Oh. Third place, EXO. Okay. Okay. It won't be Call Me Baby. Uh, Call Me Baby was okay. It wasn't... It was a good song. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It was a good song. But... Before July, it was during June time, last month ago, is when EXO re-promoted, re did a re repackaged comeback, and it was Love Me Right. That song is a jam. That song is so catchy, and like I said, I have songs on my playlist, and that song is one of them, and that song 
does something to me. It's just so catchy, so good. They all looked good. I mean, I feel bad that Tao left. That Tao left, so yeah. But it was pretty awkward. I was like, where is Tao? But then I realised, ah, he left. But with that said, now they're nine. No more ten, they're nine. They're freaking nine members. So, Tao, 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 Tao. I miss you so much. Oh, I'm gonna miss his, his his face. Yeah, that Kung Fu Panda. Yikes. But the one who still remains in the group is my bias. Kai. <sighs> Kai. Kai's too much. <laughs> They're all too I think most of my bias are too much. And when they're too much, they're too much. But anyway, with that said, I really liked the comeback. It was so much better than Call Me Baby. It's not because his towel was there or before towel left. It wasn't that. I think it was the song. Or it must be the song. I wasn't sure what the hell happened to Kai's hair, but I know some people like it. But most people like me wasn't keen on it, and some people hated it. So, yeah. It was a mixed feeling <laughs> in the Call Me Baby. Well, with Love Me Right, the song sounded so MJ. It had that MJ kind of vibe. It had the fashion was really MJ. They all looked good. The song was good. The song was in my ears every time. Jesus. Woo. But okay. That's that's the only description I can say of how much I love the song. I love the song so much. Okay, so moving on to sex to number two. Spot number two is the Bangtan Boys. My boys, Bangtan Boys. I have to put two songs because they did two comebacks from the, that one album they did, which is um, I Need You. Dope. Those two songs on the album are... I think the both versions of I Need You, I've seen the the short version and I saw the original version which was like, whoa, but at the same time it was really good. <laughs> and then you have Dope. Dope literally just flung me to the next world, literally. They just took me to somewhere else. I feel like I got slapped in the face by Jimin. Sugar, Ratmon, V, J Hope, Pookie, that boy, that child. I still see. I still see. See you. See I still see him a child. Mainly because I'm older than he is. Like how many years? Like nearly nine years. Because he's literally like my cousin's age. Like. He was born in 97, wasn't he? Hmm. Hold on. Let me just see how old he is now because I forgot. Calculators never fail. He's 18. He's still a child. Like, when he first debuted, he was a 16 year old. Then I realised he's, he's still a baby. Like, no! He's like, ah! Skrr. Swerve, child, swerve, swerve, swerve. But he's he's just, and then you realize that you can't really take him seriously because he's so shy. Especially if you saw, if you remember the, the era of for, for the Bangtan boys, um, boy in love. They had to do like a different version to it, I think, when they went to America. And Kuki had the camera getting to know, <laughs> with the, along with the members, getting to know black, really very good looking black ladies. Like, really attractive ladies are obviously black. And it's not Kuki wasn't, doesn't like that kind of girl, it's just that like, he was really shy. 
If you saw a very, really extremely attractive, attractive girl, wherever she's white, black, Korean, wherever they're from, he, he, he feels really shy. It's just so adorable. So, I, when it comes to Kuki, yes, he may some make some faces because he's attractive, but for me, I just find this so cute. It's like, oh, he's so cute. I feel like you just want to pinch his cheeks like a child. Like, literally, he's a child for me. <laughs> He's a child, so yeah, can't take him seriously. Uh, v tongue, thank you Jesus, it was tucked in, nice and, nice and, it was like, it did not come out whatsoever, it just stayed there the whole time. Uh, Jimin and Sugar nearly gave me epiphany, like seriously, they just nearly gave me a heart attack. Like, they, they, they they're just too much. They're too much. And uh, oh, these Jin. Jin's smile is just too much. Why does he, he just smile? It's just so precious. Is he so precious? His smile is so precious. He's got the most beautiful smile ever. Mm. Then you have Ratmon. Jeez. His dimple. His dimple <laughs> was is everything right now. It's like, why? And then you have Ratmon. I mean, not Ratmon. J-Hope. And like I said, if you remember one of my videos, before I stopped reacting, I decided to do review. Uh, I realized, if you clocked on, that J-Hope really looks like Lee June. And I don't understand wh why would anyone stupid would say that J-Hope is ugly. He is not ugly. He is absolutely not ugly. He is too attractive. It's just too much. <laughs> That's how I see it. If you're, if you see, if you, if anyone say he's ugly, you must go to Specsavers. You need to get your eyes checked because something's wrong with your eyes. Like, seriously. How could you say he's ugly? He's not even ugly. He's very attractive. He's ridiculously attractive. He's so good looking. It's just always, every time I see that guy, it just gives you a big ten times slaps how much he is, how good looking he is. Like, is that bitch? I'm here. That's how it is. Like, seriously. Get your, get your eyes checked. Oh, man. Ugh. Can't understand people why they're like this. So, with that said, we're nearly on the, on the end of the track of my top 10. So, I have to announce my number one. And that number one, it was the biggest blow off of my mind and my whole, my whole being. In my inside and my outside, my own brain. My emotions, everything was all over a place. <sighs> this group is called Big Bang. Big Bang Bang Bang. That song is the jam of my ears right now. I got it on my phone and if I'm ever I'm bored, I'm like Big Bang. Yes, yes, yes. Big Bang. Oh, bless them. <laughs> Oh god, it's just too much, but still. Sorry if you hear that slap, but still, it gets me every time. They all nearly killed me. GD's red hair. <laughs> they sung. <laughs> Why? 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 And then you got the panda, Sangri. So cute. The panda boy. And then you have Top. Oh, Jesus. He's my bias, by the way. <laughs> For those who don't know, Top is my bias. T.O.P. is my bias. And, yeah. His eyebrows always get me. Every he gets me every time. He does something to his eyebrows. It's just it's just ridiculous. I'm just become weak. I can't walk. I, I, I become crippled. Yeah, he, that's, that's what he does. He, he leaves you pregnant by his eyes. Through his eyes, he just leaves you pregnant. Uh, he leaves you crippled. He leaves, for some, I think, with they leave, he leaves them with no arms. 
no limbs, nothing. It just, it, it's a mess. So the song, uh, yeah, they, uh, the, 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 the Yambe, Yambe, mm, Yambe. Oh, Taeyang. Oh, Jesus. Taeyang, Taeyang, Taeyang. Taeyang looked like Natsu from Fairy Tale with his pink hair, and especially he had kind of something on, like a jacket, and with no shirt. Because for those who are into anime and manga, there's a series called Fairy Tale, and there's this character called Natsu. He has pink hair. He wears a waistcoat with no shirt on. It's always shirtless. He's always had his abs showing. That's how basically Taeyang looked, just like Natsu. Yes. Did I miss anyone else in the group? I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think they're all of them. So, if you disagree with the group, uh, with my top ten, don't worry. Just have your say on the comments down below. Just write down your top ten of your K-pop songs or J-pop songs. So, either way, it could be the Jap for those who are into Japanese music, you can do that. Or if you're into Korean music. I don't mind. You gotta remember, I'm very versatile with music, to be honest. I like all sorts of music. I grew up with music with different languages from the age of two. I have started so listening to Spanish music, to English music, like for as long as I can remember. Then I got into J pop. I into, I'm into a lot of things J pop, J rock, K pop, rock music, um, classical music, which for some it might be weird see me is like ha ah. so yes I'm into like original soundtracks by very very famous composers from Japan or in Hollywood I'm just like hearing sound at least the hear the sound of a string of a violin I just love it so yes I have a bit of knowledge of my own uh, method of knowing getting to know what music is I even grew up with really old school music, like seriously like going back in time, like the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and the 80s music, slash 90s, which is my era, but music's music guys, so doesn't matter what kind of music it is, it's just music. We have to appreciate it. And also I listen to Italian music as well, so I listen to, to a lot of kind of music in my head in my own ears, wherever I see, whatever I watch, yeah, I just listen to all sorts, to be honest, so, yeah, so that is all you guys, so, what did you think, did you disagree, did you agree, did you hate, it? did you like my video, please like, just please comment down below, also, just, just comment down below your top 10, I'll, I'll be curious, what's your top 10, January to, to June 2015 K-pop songs, that you have experienced, you had like, oh my god, this is so good, yes, this is my top ten, fa 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 fa, and to be honest, I warn you, I kid you not, it's not going to be easy when you have to write down your top ten, because it's hard, because there's so many good music has came out in the Korean um, music industry, it's just ridiculous, I mean, I know there's M Black as well, I liked it as well, but it's, uh, it's no space. There is no space on the top ten. I had to shorten it down which one which it should be like on the number one spot on the top ten spot nine place you know, you get the spots yeah so please remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video, also um follow me on my social media such as Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and myspace, and also like my fan page on Facebook. I might put it on my description down below for those who don't know. I'll try. And also, um, for those who are into my stories, my fan fiction stories, K pop fan fictions, um, K pop fans, I, I do write K pop fan fictions, non K pop fan fictions. So there are some fictions I might be starting doing, so don't worry. Oh, it will come, so. Um, yes, 
Um, for those who are following me on on Wattpad, please remember that I'm on the Watties Award. I am up for it. So for three stories, there's three stories that are, are up for it. So please remember to read my stories, leave a comment on my stories, and also vote for my stories because. Uh, yeah, and, and it's not about winning, but it's just saying appreciation for you guys. It's just to appreciate how much I love you guys, how much I care about you guys. For those who are following me, which I have about a hundred followers on Wattpad. Wow, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I feel so taken back because I never expect this amount of followers, but thank you so much. I mean, I never expect this a million years, but thank you so much it really it really motivates me even more to write more chapters and more uploading more new stories upload the new chapters for the current stories I'm writing as well it's it 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 drains it your your blood to to write more and more and more so with that said um and also you can follow me or follow me on DeviantArt as well, because also I'll do the same stories for those who can't access on Wattpad, but they have DeviantArt, storage will be uploaded there. For those who are Asian fanfics as well, I also do that as well, so thank you so much you guys. You don't know how much I love you guys. I love you guys so much, it's just ridiculous. I, it feels like I became family. You, it, it feels like we become becoming family, so... When it comes to K-pop, we become like family, become one, in one place. And it was nice to see on the concert as well, like, we became like family, all the K-pop fans just united as one. Supporting my boys. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so, that is all you guys, so. I love you all. Annyeong. And salang